traders continue to demand rent reductions given the uncertainty of the pandemic, but landlords remain reluctant and focusing on negotiating payment plans. To real estate experts, tenants must wake up. What I know is that if one increases rent, tenants obviously will always go where they know that they will gain benefit out of the, uh, the space they are occupying. And these tenants should not keep crying. Let them go where they know that they will get a benefit. When these properties are empty, the landlords will obviously come down to ask the right prices. That's what, where we shall be experiencing now property price equilibrium. We shall not get the equilibrium when we start intervening where even it is not necessary. The real estate sector activity remains subdued according to the recent Night Frank Quarter 2 report. This wasn't by rampant evictions today and government admitting absence of sufficient laws. Misusing the opportunity. This is a growing industry which we are proud of. But at the end of the day, some of your people, they may not be your people, some of the agents, the bloggers, have been involved in evicting people on pieces of land. Of course, we know this is business, but we have laws and regulations in place which are supposed to be followed. And that's why when I joined the ministry two months ago, and I realized that there was a challenge and we don't have a law that regulates real estate, I told my people that law has to be fast-tracked. There's little optimism in light of recovery among industry players, despite huge investments seen in the sector today, with experts saying investors are being clever. People who know they build or they buy when everyone is selling, and they sell when everyone is buying. So in a problem like today, those who have money, who can have access to money, they are building. And they are building because they are expecting, by the time they finish building, then the market will be picking up. So it's no surprise. But that one we are seeing it in high end. The low end, uh, they are still struggling. It is just because uh, are having no capacity. That's what we are seeing. This during the issuing of certificates to participants who completed studies at the Real Estate Institute of East Africa in Kampala.